Hello, everyone, and peace of the Lord for you again. Uh, well, you know, I'm back because some of you sent me a link about uh, Indonesian newspapers speaking about me. So I wanted to share that with you. Uh, now, this is not the first time um, Islamic countries, the huge ones, attack me or speak against me or say whatever they want to say about me. As I said before, actually, the video still is in YouTube. You can watch it where the Iranian TV uh, and the Jazeera, uh, Al Arabiya, it's like a mixed program. And uh, they are talking about uh, the people who they are opposing Islam, famous ones. And they choose my name from all my videos, from all the videos in YouTube. Now, today we received this uh, link, which is number one, according to the Indonesian person who sent it to me. Uh, as you know, I'm not Indonesian. I know nothing about Indonesia, except that Indonesia have nice food <laughs> and nice people for sure. So anything else, I do not know really much about this country. Uh, but I believe people there are wonderful people and, you know, they need our help. Uh, I do not understand what it says there in their language. So I had no chance but to translate what the article is saying into, uh, you know, using Google, you know, translation, etc. So for those who speak the language, I think you can read, I mean. However, let me uh, show in the screen what they are saying about me in English. Because this is what counts for us at the end of the day. We do not know the language. Uh, the one who wrote the article, his name Asti Widuk. And actually, he is not speaking about me in a negative way, but he's asking the Muslim scholars to stand for me, as I understood. The internet would, word does not recognize the blasphemy, blasphemy law. Laws of freedom of opinion uh, cannot be suppressed or forbidden. At present, Islam is experiencing a great shock through the internet world, especially on YouTube. The shock like massive tsunami that can, can knock down a building with a very solid foundation, meaning there is a tremendous effort to tear down the foundation of Islam through free debate on YouTube. In several episodes, of debate that can be witnessed through the world. Some Muslims who lost the debate immediately abandoned their Islamic religion. People are considered, who are considered the most dangerous to survival of Islam <laughs> through the world, through YouTube, are first Christian friends. Hmm. Humbly, humbly, I am the first dangerous challenge to Islam. I mean, isn't it that fantastic? And isn't it that proof Islam is very weak? I mean, how a person like me, who I am, I mean, no one. How a person like this guy, Christian Prince, can be said about him such a thing by Muslims. This is not about famous. No, 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 forget me. People can be famous for doing crimes, you know, if you're foot famous. Look carefully at this is a Muslim guy, by the way. If you read the article, you will see he's a Muslim. This is a Muslim guy saying what he's saying. Look, read carefully. In several episodes of debate that can be witnessed through the world. Some Muslims who lost debate immediately abandoned their Islamic religion. People who are considered the most dangerous to survival of Islam throughout the world through YouTube are first Christian Prince, a real Arab who is very deep in expertise in the field of Islam and Christianity. Now, for sure, he have wrong information about me, this Muslim. He said, he left Islam and changed to Christianity. I've never been a Muslim. 
that's you know according to Islam by the way I, I am an ex-muslim because Muhammad he said remember uh, everyone is born as a Muslim you remember that right so if I want to claim to be an ex-muslim I can actually that would be accurate according to Muhammad because everyone is born as a Muslim however I never been seriously I, 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 I you know like I'm lucky not to be a Muslim for a second and even if I am born of a Muslim family I will not be considered myself a Muslim because I'm too smart to be a Muslim for a minute not even 30 seconds uh, he left Islam and he changed to Christianity dozens of videos of his debate against Islamic expert all over the world can be watched in YouTube at this time he claimed that no Muslim would defeat him in a debate because according to him Islam was built on lies and dishonesty he continued inviting debating world level expert to debate for example dr zakir naik to argue but enter now zakir naik has not appeared so he says that zakir naik is timid you know this is their google translation all right so you know uh, the, the one who sent me the video actually this I mean this uh, uh, page uh, this uh, newspaper I will share the link with you I don't know if YouTube will allow it because it's so long maybe I need to make it shorten uh, the person is saying this is not good because they will target you now you know I say the more they target me the more I'm successful all right so we are happy for Indonesian people and uh, you know I'm thankful for the Muslims who they are trying to speak supposedly if you read the rest of it this guy is asking the Muslim cleric to stand for people like me therefore the word Islam uh, let us see here Hopefully, there are still some world leaders who endanger the survival of Islam in the world, such as Sam Harris, uh, Ayan, and then they mention, like they mention those names supposedly are like in the end of the list. And then the most important thing in this paper, that Indonesia is considered the largest Muslim country in the world, a Muslim country that considered democratic, and can be and can respect different I don't know what does that mean or maybe a religion based in belief and opinion therefore the world of Islam hopes for the help of the smart people Islamic expert especially professor doctors lecturers clerics and the scholars to dare to appear in YouTube to argue and opinion in order to defend and help build Islamic glory based on good Islamic experience in Indonesia so as you see this guy here is not really uh, supporting me he is wondering why the scholars are not there you know why the scholars are not there I mean what's wrong with them hmm? so I say to the same question where is your scholars and I will tell you why your scars will never appear because the same reason you said Islam is based in dishonesty and lies and this is why they don't dare to come and debate they can call me names they can etc they can make a video to attack me but they cannot come and debate me He continued to invite debating world level Islamic expert to debate, for example, Dr. Zakir Naik to argue, but until now, Zakir Naik he has not appeared and he will never appear. But to believe that one person is the most dangerous and he is destroying the the the, the the survival I mean look at those words guys read carefully with those words some Muslims who lost the debate immediately abandoned their Islamic religion people who they are considered the most dangerous 
to the survival of Islam through the world through YouTube or the first Christian prince so survival of Islam this is how much the impact we are great doing in countries like Indonesia so I'm really happy to see this in news and I saw how many Indonesian people live in Islam because they are watching my videos but seeing this article and the person who gave me this uh, website how many of you here from Indonesia is it true that this is number one Indonesian newspaper it's called uh, Kompa Sana is that true that this is number one or this is I mean can somebody confirm is that number one newspaper it is okay so the, the, the person saying the truth okay so if, if this is the number one uh, uh, newspaper for a country have almost 300 million and you can imagine how many people read this article and look what they are doing here maybe they are trying to uh, ask the scholars to stand to protect Islam but now they are making a lot of people leave Islam at the same time because how many Indonesian now he will so who is this guy Christian Prince right so this is a very good uh, article even though they are trying to ask the Muslim to stand for me and to debate me and maybe to conquer me or demolish me but obviously he is saying that this guy is being honest somehow that where are they where is our scholars where are they all right so I'm happy to see this the same as we saw it in the Iranian TV many years ago and now in the Indonesian and the one who is worried about me that now they will target me more my friend the one who do what we do he should not be worried about being targeted I mean are you kidding me that's it uh, you know you made thousands and thousands of Muslims leave Islam and now you are saying you will be targeted that's that we know that from the first first second I speak against Muhammad and you know if the Lord is with me who could be against me my friend so the Lord is my victory and he is my future and the devil is my past when I commit sin and I was a sinner person so with the glory of the Lord we are victorious and nobody can take us down because it's not a fight between me and the devil it's fight between the devil and the truth and the truth will set you free the Lord is victorious it's not a Christian Prince it's not you it's not me and the Muslims are not losing because a Muslim he lose a debate with me he is a winner actually for he won the truth you see the only one in a debate with a Christian Prince is the only winner is a Muslim because he when he lose his faith in Islam he found right now the first step to come to the truth so his lose is a win for him for me I'm just you can say somehow I don't want to say I'm wasting my time but there's no benefit for me except that the Lord one day will say to me how many people you brought to me and then I will say Lord you know better I want to say thank you for being here may the Lord bless you all and again this is the link for those who want to share the link around if you have a Facebook page this is in in, in English um, I will give you the link actually the link is down there uh, hold on let me give you the link in uh, in the original language for those who speak the language and again I did not uh, I'm using Google translation you see I just click at uh, at Google I click translate and uh, the page is translated uh, by the way the video I just made a uh, half hour ago or an hour ago please you know, download it because I will take it down in less than 15 minutes from now so you have 15 minutes to download it please and I will take it down thank you very much for being here may the Lord bless you and until we see you soon again Christ is Lord and Islam is false and as you see the skull is terrified because a person a man look what one man can do so join the club and let us be an army of peace to bring people Muslims into the peace of Christ so they can enjoy it with us they can live it and they can be a very beautiful loving people and nation so the whole earth will enjoy peace and that is the peace of the Lord thank you very much may the Lord bless you Christ is Lord Islam is false
Emil Thank you.